Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to add audio to a web page using HTML code. So in HTML there's an audio tag that can be used to add uh, background music or sound effects or uh, any type of recording and we can specify what uh, type of file we're, we're using and add uh, audio controls so the user can play and pause the audio and change the volume. So to get started we'll need to add the audio tag and it says audio. We'll close that tag as well. So we have an opening audio tag and a closing audio tag. And between these two tags, we can specify sound files. Now, if we just have one sound file, we can just specify that one sound file. But if we have sound files of different types to ensure compatibility across different browsers, we can add more than one here if we want to. So Basically, these days, most browsers uh, accept the major audio file types. So, for example, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Safari, they all support MP3 files. But there are some other file types that are not always supported across different browsers. But the main ones are MP3, WAV, and OGG. Uh, MP3 is probably the most compatible. So I'm going to use an MP3 file to... Um, play music. All right, so to specify the actual sound file, we use the source tag. So S O U I C E. And then we use the source attribute, which is this SRC. Just like when we're adding an image, we'd say image source. Uh, here we're saying source source. In the quotes, quotation marks, we can specify a file name and path to that file. And then in type, we're going to have to specify the type of file and then we just close that tag off. So if I go into my website folder, I have another folder within it called audio. And in, in there I have this uh, music track and it's just called raw deal with an underscore there dot mp3. So it's an mp3 file. So I'm going to put in that folder name audio forward slash and then raw underscore deal dot mp3 spelt exactly the same way. Now, because it's an MP3 file, I can uh, say that the type is audio slash MPEG. Okay, that's what you'd specify if it's an MP3 file. Now, if I only have one file here, just the MP3, but if I wanted to uh, make sure that I had other file types uh, ready to play in case I have a user that's using an old version of a browser that doesn't support mp3 uh, or a different browser that doesn't support mp3 then I could have some other backup files in that folder and I could specify them here so let's say I have an og file say so .ogg I would just change the type to audio slash ogg and if it was a wav file that would end in .wav and I'd change the type to, to audio slash WAV. So basically what will happen is the browser will try and play this first file, but if for some reason the user is using an old browser or a browser that's not compatible with MP3 files, then it can try and play these other files instead. I'll delete those two lines of code because I don't actually have those other files there. But another thing that you can also do is just add some text within the audio tags that will display in case the audio doesn't load. Uh, so if the user is using a browser that's not going to play the audio, it can display a message like this. So your browser does not support the HTML5 audio tag, or it could just say something like your browser does not, cannot play this sound. Okay. so. That's uh, optional and it will just display to the user to tell them why they can't hear any music. Now, depending on what browser you're using, this may just be enough, but a lot of browsers these days don't allow music or audio to automatically play in the background without the user choosing whether they'd like to or not. So what we'll need to do is add the controls tag here. Sorry, we just add controls to the audio tag. And now if we go to uh, the home page, this file that I'm working on, index.html, and open that up, 
we can see here that we've got audio control. So we've got a play button, we can see the length of the track, we can uh, uh, move forward and backwards uh, throughout the track, and we can also change the volume. So we've got different options there. If I remove the controls there from the audio tag, we don't see that and uh, the sound won't automatically play. So what I'll do is add controls. We can add autoplay, but if I save and refresh, it doesn't actually automatically play in this version of Chrome. So uh, some versions of some browsers may not or may no longer support autoplay um, to, because it can be quite annoying when you go to a web page and it just starts automatically playing sound. So uh, these tags here, we can add controls, we can add autoplay, and we can also add a loop if we want the track to loop over when it's finished. I'm just going to add controls for now. We'll save that. Go back and refresh the page. Got the controls here and now I can click play to play the music. Okay, so there we go. We have full controls there for the music um, or the audio file. And if I wanted to, I could add autoplay or loop. Um, but just remember that autoplay won't uh, necessarily work for all users with modern browsers that, um, don't, that block that, basically. Anyway, that's it for this video. That's how to add audio to a web page. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video uh, where we'll look at how to add videos to a web page.